So it's a good question that was sent to me by someone who has inflammatory arthritis, happened to be using a GLP-1 agonist, and her inflammatory arthritis got much better, and now she's worried about having to get off it. She wants to know why was it actually helping? First and foremost, let me state that the evidence for the benefit of GLP-1 agonists in treating inflammatory arthritis and autoimmune conditions is essentially non-existent currently. With that said, here are some theoretical reasons why it's possible a GLP-1 agonist like semaglutide or trisepatide could be helping if you have inflammatory arthritis. Semaglutide and the other GLP-1 agonists are approved for weight loss as well as for treating diabetes. So what we know about obesity and fat cells is that fat cells secrete certain inflammatory, pro-inflammatory cytokines or chemicals. Some of these pro-inflammatory cytokines are also associated with inflammatory arthritis as well. So reducing weight, at least in theory, may be reducing the amount of pro-inflammatory cytokines that are being secreted, which may be the reason in this case why this individual noticed that her inflammatory arthritis got better. Also keep in mind that there is actual published data that shows that weight loss in the setting of rheumatoid arthritis helps with pain and fatigue symptoms. In addition, in psoriasis and in psoriatic arthritis, weight loss helps with not only skin inflammation, but also joint inflammation as well. Another possible reason why GLP-1 agonists may have been helping in this individual's case is that we know that the GLP-1 agonists help to reduce the amount of blood sugar in your system by essentially pulling that into your muscles so that you're no longer hyperglycemic. That's helpful because if you have hyperglycemia, you may be more prone to inflammatory conditions and inflammation. So improving your metabolic health as well as improving weight loss may have been the reason why her inflammatory arthritis got better with the GLP-1 agonist. With all that said, caveat again is that we have no actual published data that shows that a GLP-1 agonist, when utilized in an autoimmune condition, helps to improve the autoimmune condition and the inflammatory arthritis. So my take, if you're considering a GLP-1 agonist for your inflammatory arthritis or autoimmune condition is as follows. Number one, keep in mind that as much as possible, try to use treatments that have good data that backs the, their effectiveness. So in the case of inflammatory arthritis, there, there are now a few decades worth of experience and data that support the utilization of disease-modifying medications and biologic medications in treating the inflammatory arthritis. So if you're going a different direction, make sure that your condition is well-controlled on that alternative option and make sure that your physician is keeping a close eye on it because if your condition starts going the wrong way, there is a risk that if you're using something that is non-traditional, that your, that your condition could get dramatically worse. In my opinion, currently, I think the best way forward is to utilize treatments that have robust long-term data in the case of autoimmune conditions and inflammatory arthritis and utilize a GLP-1 agonist as an augmentation for not only treating some component of the inflammatory condition, but certainly treating the metabolic issues that you see in autoimmune conditions as well.